run, Roach. Jennifer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so... Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. Who are they? Patriots. Drinking their seventh round for Tamaria. Fists starting to itch. Don't see any enough guardians. They'll find another foe. I'll buy some provisions for the journey, then we'll go. Geralt, we should stay out of it, just this once. What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took them down? To hang a golden sun there now? I cannot show Temerian colors. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fund of the Imperials. You Nilfgaard's whore. Well, let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit. They hang my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let my sister attending to the birth, and you don't oh. fear the gods wrath. You don't uh. fear it, you cunt! <laughs> Leave me be! Recognize this medallion? You know what it means. Back off. You all right? They say witches steal young'uns. That's true. What the Emperor promised you, freaks? Your own land? Like he did the elves once? Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. And neither are you. They won't back down now. I can see that. Save us! Be gone, and don't ever come back. <laughs> so much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. That brawl? We didn't start it. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Y Yen? How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. 
I might have waited until you found me, but... Well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? He didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. We can talk here. Some charming orchards nearby. In bloom even, so you almost can't smell the corpses. A tempting proposition. Sadly, I must say no. You see, someone awaits you in Vizima. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group. For as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse? I didn't. Though I could have. Must have been a damn good offer then. Not many things you'd give up your freedom for. And even fewer people. The sooner we set off, the sooner you'll find out. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Kaer remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. Filthy. Just the beginning. But then. But then. <laughs> to the audience. This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima.
It must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the bergère. The what now? In that chair. Catwin, please shave the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. Fine. Then what? Gonna do my nails too? If time permits. Sadly, the day is short. While the list of hygienic and cosmetic treatments that the gentleman should undergo is really rather long. Tilt your head back, please, and sit still. How goes it? Preparations for the audience proceeding as planned. Yes, General. The gentleman will be more or less presentable. Who's this guy? He a barber too? No. Morvran Voris, commander of the Alba Division. Yennefer's escort. They were my men, all of them. Indeed, were. For none have returned to Vizima, have they? I truly wonder what happened on the road yesterday. Perhaps you could enlighten me. You have time. And a uh, razor to your throat. Wild Hunt killed them. A cavalcade of wraiths dashing across the night sky. These omens of war the peasantry bubbles about. <laughs> Expect me to believe that. Frankly, I don't really give a damn. Nordlings. <sighs> We can bathe you, shave you, and clothe you, but teaching you manners, that will be a challenge. Nice meeting you too. Done. Shall I shave him once more, against the grain? No. He himself is very much against the grain, that's enough. Farewell, Witcher. Or rather, see you soon. Good. Now the gentleman may dress. Sadly, I did not receive exact measurements. If the garments chafe, our tailor will adjust them. Where are my clothes? Where they should have gone long ago, with the laundress. They will be returned to you after the audience, clean and starched. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. Suits the gentleman. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? A studded doublet and a sword on my back, that's what would satisfy me. But tough, when in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the North and South. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Confirm away. 
Please watch. Leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Gotta be kidding. Not at all. I am mortally serious. Does the gentleman know the penalty for breaches of etiquette in the Emperor's presence? 200 lashes. I do not wish that upon him. So I will not let him leave until I am confident that he knows how to behave. Please, this is neither the time nor the place for such antics. The gentleman will watch carefully. Leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Hmm, lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate title. Your Arch Magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Grimmi et art kerzer, daifen aden in karn eb marvut, emir var emreis. Bow. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian namen, vat gern favort. I thought you bowed before no man. Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter Cyrilla, she's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. How many men in your army? Twenty thousand? Thirty? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you are looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. I need information, not motivation. Siri leaves few tracks. She'll be hard to find. My corps of spies will help you. Count on them and my army, should the need arise. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress. Follow me, if the gentleman pleases. Please keep close. There are many honorable guests in the palace, whom the gentleman... Disgusts. ...need not bother. 